Hello, nice to see you. If you really like learning for a lifetime, like me, today we will talk about how to study at Stanford University in the USA for free at home. Of course, we have the internet and it's possible for sure. And if you try to learn English and increase your fluency and vocabulary, it will be really good sources because at the same time, you will see video and transcription. And it will be much easier for you to learn not only something new and interesting for you, because our brain really like novelty and something fresh, but at the same time, you will learn pronunciation. And I think it's really important because, of course, I really adore when we are talking in English with different accent and we still understand each other. But for other hand, it's really nice when we just try to explain something to someone else in clear way and much faster than, for example, one year ago. Stay with me. Please subscribe, like, and share my channels with your friend. Are you ready? Here we go. Free stuff. Free online courses. Our free online courses provide you with an affordable and flexible way to learn new skills. And you are able to study about health and medicine, education, engineering, and many more. And for example, for education, you will find seven results for free. Okay. And I want to start with how to learn math for students. Open. And right now you will see six weeks self-paced and free. Enrolled go to course. You are able to register and sign up with Google, Microsoft or whatever you want. And set a weekly learning goal. Casual, regular or intense. It's up to you. We will check it. Resume. You see this topic. Okay, and what do we find? Okay, first of all, they ask you a few questions. And after that, you are able to learn. A lot of people, as you may know, have a bad relationship with math. Often, they don't like it or they don't do well in it. This is partly because of things they don't know about math that we will show you in this course. We went to San Francisco and asked people what they thought about math. How do you feel about math? Um, how do I feel about math? Uh, let's see, I use it at work. Um, it's a tool. I'm not sure I can... I guess in some ways you, you feel it if you can relate it to nature, but I, I don't know. I do feel like math at sense. Not when I study just math, no. Um, Why? Because I can't understand it unless it relates to something physical. Math? You're joking. <laughs> How do you feel about math? How can you have a feeling about math? I love math. I, I think it's uh, relevant to... Of course, if you want to learn, for, the, for example, something about art, it's possible. And you will see much more results. And it's up to you. If you want to learn more, it's possible. My choice, language, proof and logic and how to learn math. The art of construction and using arguments doesn't belong to any single science. It's used by all the sciences and in everyday life. And I think it's good to remember. I can decide for you. You will have to make up your own mind. Thank you so much. Take care and see you next week.